welcome back. So Libra, this reading is going to be for the week of April 7th. Uh, I'm not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, please do like, share, and subscribe. Also check out my social media account links down in the description box below. Okay. Um, <laughs> Libra, overall energy for the week is the King of Cups. Now you could be dealing with the King of Cups, a water sign. Or somebody that's embodying the energy of the King of Cups this week, which is someone who is um, emotionally available, but they don't necessarily show all of their feelings, you know, they don't wear their heart on their sleeve, okay? This is someone who is generally um, committed um, to whatever person or relationship that they are in when they're in the upright, okay? Um, if you're not dealing with another person like this, then, um, Libra, that's the energy that you are embodying for the week. So, uh, either way, it looks good. Um, recent past for Libra. So let's see how this pans out. So, um, Libra, Libra, I can speak today. You have the justice card here. Um, the chariot. And then the Nine of Swords. This is the recent past. So I feel like there's a need to emotionally balance yourself out. And I feel like that is what you've been working towards. But there is a part of you that is still most definitely stuck in your head. Um, stressed. You know, you might uh, be having trouble sleeping at night even. Um, it's a pretty painful card. So I, I could see why then you would want to try and, you know, balance that. I also feel like there's a sense of wanting to feel justified as well in how you're feeling or wanting somebody to... I cannot think of the word. Not to justify how you feel, but to understand how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that message is pretty strong. So, you know, there's a message here about needing someone to understand. Wanting them to understand how it feels from your perspective. Okay. Okay. Um, so starting the week, that was the recent past coming into this week, you have the king of swords. That's your energy, male or female in the upright. That looks good. Um, 10 of wands <clears throat> and then the two of cups. Nice. So I do feel like you are, you are finding that internal balance. You are feeling more, uh, within your element, you know, cause you're in the upright. So this is someone who is now able to, I guess, get a hold of all of those emotional burdens and, um, balance them out better. Okay. I do feel like you're still carrying it with you though, but you're able to balance, I guess, the pressure or, yeah, you're, you're able to balance it better coming into the week, okay? And I feel like you have a helpful person around you, okay, that may be um, assisting you in this, okay? This is, I always see this as a soulmate type energy, so you might have a very strong connection within your midst this week. For some of you, if you're partner, then this is your partner. But we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to keep it general, and then I'm going to break it down into groups, because I can see a few different groups here. So um, towards the end of the week, ooh, this looks good. You have the three of wands, the king of pentacles, and the ten of cups. So I feel like I, as an overall energy towards the end of the week, it's like, you know, finally moving forward, really, honestly. Um, I do feel like there's times where you still feel burdened by the past. Uh, you may still stress about it, but it's a sense of wanting to feel more comfortable with where you're at and comfortable within this relationship if this is a relationship for you. But I feel like what you're seeking, um, Libra, is not just emotional balance, but emotional fulfillment, you know, and where, where is my fulfillment at? 
Um, I feel like, you know, there might have been some confusion around that, some disappointment even. Um, but I feel like you're, you're doing a good job of tapping into your own intuition this week and reconnecting with your, you know, where, where's your fulfillment at? And so, um, overall that looks pretty good. Now I definitely have more than one group. So now I'm going to break it down into groups. You can be in group one, group two, or group three. That was the general energy I just spoke of. Okay. So group one, if this is a relationship. I do feel like there's a sense of renewed commitment here. Um, I do feel that there's still stress, stressors here. I feel like either you or the other partner feels like there's a, a lot to be done. You know, there's like a lot on your plate right now. And you're feeling that this week. But you have your this person here um, that wants to help you get there. They want to help you, to see you. They want to help you and get you moving in the right direction and, you know, help you to feel more secure with them, but also with yourself. Um, because there might be some insecurities here or some like uncertainties about yourself and who you are, you know, or that might've been your energy, like I said in the past. And I feel like, you know, the, whoever you are, connecting with this week, they want to help you move out of that uncertainty into a much more emotionally fulfilling, secure place in your life. Um, so I, I like that. That looks really good if you're in this group. Um, yeah. Group two. This is for those of you who have three people involved. Okay. Um, because I have a lot of court cards out. So there's a lot of people here. So this might only be for a few of you, but it's definitely for someone. I feel like some of you, um, have more than one person involved here. There might have been a separation from this past person. I feel like you have completely detached yourself emotionally from whoever this is that you felt like you needed to move away from. I felt like they caused you a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. I felt like the relationship felt very burdensome to you, even though you had a strong connection with this person. I feel like you wanted to move forward. You wanted to, I feel like you, you're moving on Libra because there's a new connection here now. And I feel like this person that's coming in is a lot more grounded than the prior person, okay? I feel like this person's more emotionally available. They may be even more financially stable than the prior person. And I feel like you're finding a lot of emotional happiness there this week, okay? And, I mean, good for you. I do feel like this past person is disappointed in the decisions that you've made. But I feel like, you know, that's not, your focus isn't there. You know, your focus is on this new emotional fulfillment that you're having. <laughs> so I, I don't feel like, you know, you care. Or if you do, it's just, it doesn't seem to be affecting you to that, to the degree that it is them. Um, okay. Um... Yeah, those are the two primary groups. I don't have any work messages here this week. I'm sorry. Um, this is purely a uh, relationship love arena this week. So let me tell you the zodiac signs. These are quick readings. Um, but don't forget to check out the April monthly readings. Those are much more in-depth. Um, but anyways, the zodiac signs I have here. Zodiac signs. Cancer, Libra, you might be dealing with another Libra. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus are the primary zodiac signs I see. But can be any zodiac sign that could be just the energy you're carrying this week. So take it as it resonates. Um, but I wish you all the very, very best. And until next time, namaste. Bye.